Hey y'all, Organizing Hire, welcome or welcome back. I share productivity and organization tips, tools, and resources. So be sure to subscribe if you're into that. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three different ways that you can set up a digital tickler file. A tickler file, for those who don't know, is basically a way of sending a message or a reminder to yourself in the future. Let's say someone emails me an agenda for a meeting that's happening in a week. I can put that agenda in a tickler file so I don't actually see it until the day I need it. This also makes it so I'm not frantically searching for my agenda like two minutes minutes before the meeting starts. It's just gonna be in my tickler file. Traditionally, a tickler file is paper-based using the 43 folders system, but in a virtual environment or in an environment where you don't have a lot of paper, a digital tickler file is much more useful. So here are three different ways you can set up a digital tickler file. There are a ton of different ways to do this in OneNote, but I try to go for simplicity. I have a section called tickler file, and within each section, I have a page for each month. On each page, there's a table that lists all of the days in that particular month. And you can just add things like files to a particular date or just notes to yourself, photos, things like that. To simplify things even more, you can create a backlink for each month and that saves you a few clicks. So if you have something like a dashboard as part of your workflow setup, you could have your tickler file backlinks listed there. You can also expand the box if you need to for it to be bigger, depending on how many items that you have to do that day. And you can use tags like the reminder tag if you want to just be reminded of something or something like this to do tag if you need to actually do something. And as a bonus, if you use OneNote with Microsoft Outlook, you can make this an Outlook task and you'll get a reminder in Outlook to complete the task so you don't have to open your tickler file in OneNote every day. I only recently started using Workflowy and I really love the simplicity of it. I'm using a forever calendar template that I found to set up a tickler file. And you can set up an entire year in advance and each day just simply click on that date to bring up the items that are in your ticker file. You can bring up photos or notes or documents or whatever you need. And then when you're done with that day, just click complete and it'll go away. A couple of weeks ago, Workflowy uh, released their experimental feature dates, which you can get to by going to the settings menu and then just toggling the dates bar. Initially when I did it, it didn't save. So if you have trouble with that, you might have to toggle the button more than once. But then what you're able to do is just type in a date and it will notice that you're typing a date. You hit tab to input that date automatically. And then it'll be really easy to just search for tasks with this particular date as a tag. And then you wouldn't even need to have this whole forever calendar, though you certainly could. And then you can use the search bar to pull up things like this week or this month or last week or last month to very quickly get a view of all of the tasks with a certain date. The file I use the most is really the Outlook Calendar. I find this especially helpful for not having to look for meeting notes and agendas last minute. I just attach the meeting agenda to the calendar invite on my calendar. And then on the day of the meeting, I can review the details of the meeting invite so I can remember any like talking points that I might have. And then of course, access the agenda. I also add emails to my calendar if I wanna be reminded of them on a certain date. This is especially useful if I need to follow up with someone on a particular date and I don't wanna to have to search for the original email to reply from. So that on the day that I need it, I can quickly access both the reminder that I need to send a follow up and then like any notes that I've put for myself to remind myself what I need to follow up on. And then I actually have the email there that I can open to reply from directly and it's all in one space. So there's three different ways you can use to set up a digital tickler file. Let me know which way you're using or if you use something different. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.